Hi everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we are diving into one of the easiest ways to make your WordPress website multilingual, that is with the help of the G-Translate plugin. Let's check how the plugin works and what makes it a popular choice among WordPress users. Here is the official website of G-Translate plugin and by scrolling down we can see the advanced features the plugin offers. At first you can see that the plugin offers a 15-day free trial, so it's a great opportunity for its users to test the features and then uh, decide what package they want to purchase. Also the G-Translate plugin is in a business for 17 years and has 800,000 plus active websites. Also, it has a good uh, rating and a large number of active users. And by scrolling down, we can see the advanced features the plugin offers. Uh, the first two are for SEO, search engine indexing and search engine uh, friendly. Uh, so uh, search engines will index your uh, translated pages, which is great for SEO for your website. Uh, also, it's uh, uh, search engine friendly. So you will have a separate URL for each language. The plugin has machine translation, so uh, you will have your website translated instantly upon the installation of the plugin. Uh, also, you can see the translation editing feature, uh, so you will be able to edit the translations manually uh, with the inline editor directly from the context, so it's, uh, it is made very easy. Uh, also here you can see usage statistics, language hosting, URL translation and seamless updates features. Also here you can see the pricing for the plugin and what is great is that the plugin has both the free version and uh, different pricing uh, packages uh, which you can choose from. And here we can see the uh, free version of the plugin available on WordPress. And as you can see, it again offers uh, a great number of features, so you can uh, test the free version first and then decide which, uh, which package you want to purchase. We can go back to the uh, official website. And here you can see other packages which are quite affordable and have a reasonable pricing. Also here you can decide whether you want to purchase monthly or yearly package. So once we are done with the official website, we can go to the dashboard uh, and see how the plugin works there. Here we are on our dashboard and at first we will need to install and activate the G-Translate plugin on our website and for that we will need to go to the plugins page and add new plugin. And here we will search for the G-Translate. Here is the plugin, we will need to click on install now button and then activate it. So once the plugin is uh, installed and activated, we will need to go to the settings and then find the G-Translate there. Here is it, the plugin. So let's start discussing the features and then we will uh, check the uh, plugin on the front end. At first we can see the widget look feature, uh, here we can choose how to display uh, the languages, uh, for example uh, here we can see the widget preview which is a great feature so we can see how the widget will, uh, would look like on the front end and we can uh, make a decision of which one uh, we like the most, for example float, this one, like this. I guess we will stick uh, on this one for example. Then comes the translate from option, uh, with the help of which you will need to specify the official language of your website. Here you can uh, open the uh, drop down and select your desired language for your website. The translate translates websites from the original language of the site to other languages, so uh, the user should choose what the original language of the site is. Then come the subdirectory URL structure and subdomain URL structure features, which are available for only the pro versions. As you may know, the subdirectories are parts of the uh, path that come after the domain and 
help organize content on your website. Uh, the plugin provides the option to enable uh, the subdirectory for the URL. Uh, for example, you can have example.com slash de, uh, which will help customers with geotargeting and SEO. And the subdomain is a prefix added before the main domain name uh, to separate different sections of the website. The plugin provides the option to enable the subdomain for the URL. For example, you can have de.example.com, uh, uh, which will help customers with better geotargeting and SEO. Um, the translated versions will be provided in one of the checked URL structures depending on the user's preferences and corresponding configuration will be required uh, which can be find, uh, found on a setup uh, wizard of the translate user dashboard if the user is already a subscriber. Also, there is country-specific uh, URL structure, which is the same uh, language hosting feature uh, the plugin offers for the enterprise plan, which allows having uh, CCTLD, that means country code top-level domains for translations. Uh, here you can see the native language names option, we can tick it or not, uh, auto-switch to browser language. Uh, also here we can see the enable CDN feature. A CDN is a network of servers that are located around the uh, world that store copies of your website's assets. Uh, so when a user requests a page from your website, the CDN server uh, closest to the user will uh, say uh, will serve the assets, uh, which can reduce the time uh, it takes for the page to load. Here we can uh, decide uh, where to display the detranslate widgets. Uh, here we can see primary menu, secondary menu, mobile menu, and options. Uh, we will stick on primary menu. Here we will decide where to show the floating language selector. We can choose for example this one. Here we can change the flake size if we want uh, and see them uh, changed lively. For example like this we will stick on uh, for example this one. Also we will choose the flex style for example 3D or 2D. We will stick on 3D option. And here you can see the flag languages. Here you can specify how many languages you want to display uh, on your website. Uh, you can add uh, other languages if you want, for example, uh, like this by ticking and unticking. Also, what is great is that you can reorder the languages. For example, we can uh, move the Italian at the first place and it will be changed here. Here you can see the custom CSS feature, which is customizable options. Then we can go to the alternative flex uh, part. Here you can see uh, which alternative flex you want to display instead of the default ones. For example, we can change the USA flag like this and they will be changed accordingly as you can see here. Also, we can change this one if we want. Here we can see some uh, tips for the language selector positioning. Here you can see the support working hours so that you can be aware of when to contact the support team to get proper responses. Also what is great about the plugin is that it offers live chat support uh, directly on a dashboard so you can contact the support team uh, when working with the plugin and get proper and quick responses to any of your questions. So let's choose the languages we want to showcase uh, on the website uh, and uh, check how the plugin works on our uh, live website. Once we are done with the changes, uh, here also you can uh, see the uh, preview has been changed based on our language choices. Uh, we will need to save the changes here and uh, click on a visit site button on our website. Here you can see the plugin displayed on our live website. Here we will click on each of these uh, languages and the uh, website language will be changed accordingly. Uh, for example, let's check them out. Like this. So as you can see, the whole page is uh, getting translated uh, with just one click. So that was all about the G-Translate plugin. As you can see, it's a super simple yet powerful plugin that helps you connect to worldwide audience and break the language barriers. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell not to miss further WordPress tips and tutorials. See you in the next video. Bye!